Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, then I hope you will like this video and will consider subscribing to my channel. Today, if you feel like I have like too much powder going on on my face, that's because I'm going to demo out these powders finally. So I have two Laura Mercier translucent setting powders and I have been promising for the longest time that I will do a comparison video of these two powders. So today is finally the day and I'm going to share my thoughts on both the powders. They are actually two different shades. So we are going to talk about that. If you guys are interested in the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, then uh, please do continue watching that. If you are wondering about this eye look, it will be up on my Instagram as a small tutorial. I have used the Pat McGrath Labs uh, Celestial Divinity palette. The full review and comparison swatches looks are all available on my other channel. So I will leave it in the description box. So today's video is on these two powders. I have two shades in this translucent, translucent setting powder. So this is the original one, which is uh, supposed to be translucent. It's uh, translucent, but it does have a slight bit of color to it. I feel especially for the skin of color. And uh, this I purchased, I think long time back, actually, I think it has been probably four years, even more than that. And I still have this much of product left so you get a lot of product uh, in this powders they are very very raved about powders and that that only worth the money i feel because they last for a really long time and i feel they are really good they do the job uh, of setting the face very nicely especially i love this powder for underneath the eyes so i have bought uh, both the powders from sephora singapore uh, in each uh, tub you're going to get 29 grams of product so that's a lot of product and each powder retails for 70 singapore dollars it's a expensive powder but nowadays there are frequent sales and it's worth it i would say that much there are three shades in this powder so i have the shade translucent which is the original one there is a shade called honey which i also have and there is another shade called medium deep which is for deeper skin tone i would like to see that in person because i think the honey shade matches me pretty well so probably the medium deep shade would be a little bit too darker okay so i use both of these powders for underneath the eyes especially and i use the shade honey also for uh uh, all over the face i don't use the original one for all over the face because it has a slight bit of color i feel and it gives like a slight white cast to my face like it's very very negligible it's almost you can't tell but i can feel it so i don't use it for my entire face i just love it for underneath the eyes it just sets the area so beautifully it just looks poreless it just looks flawless smooth poreless and it stays like that for like almost the entire wear of the makeup so that's why i really really love these powders they are very very finely milled high quality powder and uh, today i am going to basically show you the shade difference of these two powders okay so let me just open a little bit so my this one is totally like completely broken i had dropped it <laughs> many times i have glued it here uh, so that was the original one. I will take out a little bit of this one so that I can show you the shade difference. There is quite a lot of shade difference. So I hope you will be able to tell. So here are both the shades. This one on my uh, right is honey. You can see it's more warmer in tone. And this one is more of a cream sort of a color. It looks pretty pale. Uh, this one looks pretty pale so there is a considerable difference in the tones and I feel like for my skin tone this one works great the shade honey so that's what I have applied on my skin today I'm going to show you the demo so on this side of the face oh before that can you guess which side is which I would be very interested to see if you can guess but anyways I will just tell you so this side has the shade honey and this one has the shade translucent so there's a slight bit of difference but yeah it's negligible but not that negligible okay so uh let's go into the demo okay guys welcome to my crazy face i'm going to demo the powders for you let me fix this a little bit okay that's better okay so i've already applied a foundation i applied the two-faced bond this 
way foundation one of my favorites uh, in the shade caramel and i've also highlighted underneath my eyes using the Too faced born this way concealer in the shade honey okay so honey is a little bit lighter for me so i use it for concealing around the mouth i have used the nars soft matte uh concealer the review of this one is up on my channel you can also find the review of this one on my channel okay so now i'm going to apply my powder i will be applying uh one side one powder on one side and the other one on the other side so let's go with the original one first so i usually give a shake to this powder and i will take this wet and wild brush uh p65 and i'll just apply it underneath my eyes first what i usually do and then i'll also apply on the uh, face and show you guys so this is the original one on this side of the face so instantly it just gets the under eye just smooth and poreless look at the difference here it's just stunning i mean i just love this for underneath the eyes or setting my uh, eye primer or if i have concealer on the eyes for setting that lightly i use this okay. and it gives a natural matte finish and for underneath the eyes i love this look so this part is done now let's go into the other one which is the honey shade so i'll apply this with another brush i have this brush from zoeva the lux powder finish brush and taking a little bit you can see how much ever I build I almost applied like three four layers it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look uh, very heavy so that's the shade honey uh, at the first instant you are not going to see a lot of difference but in person I can see that this side looks more warmer this one is more highlighted so i think both work if you are applying it under the eyes because under the eyes it can be anything if you want a more brighter look and you're close to my skin tone you can apply the translucent original one under the eyes it will give a little bit of that brightness uh, but that brightness is not too much it's very very subtle and this side is more natural uh, more in tune with my skin tone so this one uh, is not that right uh, now for this Too Faced foundation I do have to set my entire face because this is not a dry down foundation it stays tacky so I will apply both the powders on the entire face half half and then you can see the difference so first I will apply the translucent one I'll first apply on this side when I apply it on the whole face then you will be able to see a lot of difference this may say it is translucent but on my skin tone this one will still give like a slight bit of uh, white cast not really white cast cast but there will be slight bit of a color it's not very objectionable to me but this is the reason i don't apply this on the entire face i use other pressed powders i'm layering a lot of powder i don't apply so much powder as i'm applying in the demo i have dry skin but just to show you guys i'm applying quite a lot okay so that's the translucent side the original we'll apply the honey shade on this side of the face and let's see the difference so right away you can see as i was applying it this is not as white as the previous one this i can definitely apply on the entire face it is not going to look as stark okay wow <laughs> but it you can see how much i've applied but it still blends away very very easily it doesn't cake up how much ever you apply it doesn't cake up and it gives just a smooth 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 base so yeah those are the two shades the translucent side and the honey side see the difference i see is very very minor there is definitely a difference this side looks more warmer more natural in tune with my skin tone i can see it in the mirror this one has that slight very very slight bit of a white cast feel if i apply it on the entire face under the eyes both look 
excellent in fact out of the eyes i do prefer the original one so i think it depends on uh, personal preference what kind of look you are going for i don't know i love both the shades i think for in my life both the shades have their own purpose i use the original one for highlighting and i've always done that before as well and the honey is excellent for the entire face not that i powdered that much so yeah that's the demo for the powder let's get back to the video okay so that was the demo i hope it was helpful and you could see the difference between both the shades i love both the shades and both of them work for me great for different purposes and i will highly recommend these powders they are very finely milled uh, high quality powders and these days they are pretty easily available as well i think if you want to invest in a good translucent powder then this is a really good one and uh, it will suit a lot of skin types as well i have dry skin it works for me great doesn't cling to dry patches or anything like that so most skin types will be able to use and uh, yeah i have been loving this powder for uh, many many years now so definitely it's worth a buy uh, and yeah that's it for today's video guys i hope this video was helpful if you liked it and it was helpful please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're watching me for the first time i really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel thank you so much for watching today i will see you again really soon in my next video bye